In this video of Vedic Maths, we will be learning how to calculate the square of a number quickly. We will be discussing two methods of calculating squares. This method is very useful for children of class 9 and above. Let us see what is a square of a number. The square of a number refers to when we multiply the same number with itself. So, for example, here y is the number. When I multiply y with y, we get y square. This is the notation in which we write square of a number. Now, before moving forward, there is a prerequisite. That is, to calculate the square of higher numbers, one should remember the squares up to number 10. So, the square of 1 is 1. Square of 2 is 4. Square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16, square of 5 is 25, square of 6 is 36, square of 7 is 49, square of 8 is 64, square of 9 is 81, and square of 10 is 100. Now let's get to the trick. Now here, we will be calculating squares from 11 to 20. While calculating the squares of these numbers, we will consider 10 as our base. And we will follow this. Now here, 11 square. We need to find out 11 square. Now 11 is 1 more than 10. So these are the notations. And these are the numbers that are more than the base. Now the first step here is write the square of these numbers at the ones place. So square of 1 is 1. Now to get the left side of the answer, add 11 plus 1. That is 12. So the square of 11 is 121. Similarly, while calculating the square of 12, the square of 2 is 4. That forms the 1's place of our answer. Now 12 plus 2 is 14. So 144 is the square of 12. Similarly, square of 13 will be the square of 3 is 9. So the 1's place here is 9. And add 13 plus 3. That is 16. So 13 square is 169. Now let's see one more example where we will be dealing with carry forwards. Now square of 14. To find the square of 14, we will write square of 4. Square of 4 is 16. Now 6 here is written like this. The end digit of 16 that is 6 at the 1's place. Now 1 from here is carry forwarded. And it is added to 14 plus 4. So 14 plus 4 is 18 plus 1 that is 19. The method here is explained in detail. And this method you can carry forward it to 20. Now 20 square is 400. Next comes the method where we have sub bases involved. Now in this case. We will be calculating squares from 21 to 30. Now here our base will be 10 and 20 is considered as a, as a sub base. Now in such a case, the first step is write the numbers, write the square of the numbers that are more than the sub base at the ones place. So this step remains same. 1 square is 1. Now, before writing this left part of our answer, we need to follow one or two steps. The first step is add 21 plus 1. That becomes 22. But now, since 20 is 2 times 10, so I am going to multiply 22 with 2. That gives me 44. Hence, the square of 21 is 441. Similarly, while calculating the square of 22, the first step remains same. To get 
the square of 2 at the 1's place, which is 4. Now add 22 plus 2, that is 24. Now 24 will be multiplied with 2 because 2 is a, 20 is a sub base here. Now 24 into 2 gives 48. So the square of 22 is 484. Now let's see how we can follow this method up to 29. Now to calculate the square of 28, the first step is calculate square of 8 because 28 is 8 more than the sub base which is 64. Now 4 forms the right side of our answer that means the 1's place and 6 is carry forwarded. Now since 28 is 8 more than the base, we added 28 plus 8 which is 36. Now 36 is multiplied with 2 because 20 is a sub base that gives us 72. Now 6 is carried from the 1's place Hence, 72 plus 6 gives us 78. So, the square of 28 is 784. One more method that we will see here is formula based method to calculate the square of a number. Here we will be observing 2 digits square and 3 digits square. The formula for calculating double digit square is this a square balancing 2ab balancing b square. So this forward slash here represents balancing technique. You can refer to the video where I have taught about balancing. Now this formula for three digit square is written here. Let's see an example. For example, 75 square we need to find out. Here a is 7, b is 5. So the first step is calculate square of 7, then multiply 2 with 7 and 5 and write the 5 square. Now solving this, 7 square is 49, 2 times 7 is 14, 14 times 5 is 70, 5 square is 25. Now to balance these numbers and to get the final answer, we will write the end digit that is 5 here, this 2 is carry forwarded to 70 that becomes 72. So 2 comes in our answer and 7 is carried to 49. 49 plus 7 is 56. Let's see an example of a 3 digit number. 648 square we need to find out. Here 6 is A, 4 is B, 8 is C. Putting the values in the formula, we get 6 square, then 2 into 6 into 4, 2 into 6 into 8, plus b square, that is 4 square, 2 into b into c, that is 4 into 8, and b square, that is 8. Now here, 36, 48, 96, plus 16, 64 and 64. Now again, when I balance these numbers, I get an answer of 4,19,904, which is the square of 648. I hope you understood the method. Stay tuned for more content on Vedic Maths. Thank you.